This is the instructional video for part number four, Hitchpeg. I'm going to start this new file as a standard IPT, selecting a new 2D sketch and the XY plane. I'm going to start this drawing with the line tool at the origin at X0, Y0. I'm going to draw a straight line up. This is the overall height of the hitch peg at 0.65. So I'm going to type in 0.65. I'm going to right click OK just so that I can use my line tool again and grab the bottom of this right at the origin once again. I'm going to draw a horizontal line. This is the radius of the part, which is 0.125. I'm going to right click OK once again just to drop this to dimension down here to clean up my view a little bit. I'll take the line tool again, and if I move down here, there is a line on this x-axis, and I can see that as I grab the end point, it turns green. I'm going to draw a line vertical that goes straight up. This gets me to the underside of the hitch peg, which is at 0.5 inches. So I'll type in 0.5, and then again, right click just to move this dimension out of the way. Then I'm going to select the line tool, and I'm going to draw the rest of the diameter of this top of the hitch peg. And to do that, I've already come 0.125 inches over, so I need to be able to come the rest of the way, which is at 0.2. So if I draw a line from here over, it's going to be the difference of that. So I'm going to write an equation that is at 0.2 minus 0.125. And that will tell me that the rest of the way is 0 0.075. Last thing that I need to do is draw what is called a spherical radius. And that's going to connect these two points and create that button top of this hitch peg. To do that, I'm going to come up here and select arc. And I'm going to grab the arrow at the bottom, and it's going to bring me up three different options for different types of arcs. I'm going to use the center point arc. And I'm going to draw this arc by grabbing on this vertical 0.65 line, making sure that I don't select this green dot because that's a geometric constraint, and it'll tie me to that midpoint, and it'll affect me later on when I try to dimension this arc. I'm going to grab somewhere along here where it's a yellow dot, and then I'm going to extend to the top of this line where it is a green dot, and then I'm going to draw it over. And I'm just going to end it prematurely here because I haven't set this dimension yet. I'm going to come up to dimension, and I'm going to grab this arc, and I want this spherical radius to be at 0 0.208. So I'm going to go ahead and type that in, 0 0.208. And you'll see that now it still does not extend to this point. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here, and I'm just going to use the extend feature, and I'm going to click this arc. And you're going to see that the arc now extends to that endpoint. So right click OK. I'm going to finish this sketch, and then I'm going to revolve this feature. So I'll go ahead and select my profile, and then next I'm going to grab the axes, and I'm going to grab this 0.65 vertical line here. And you'll see that now it revolves around that axis. I'm going to select OK. And the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to add a chamfer to the bottom edge down here. This is called an eased edge, and it's just a 0 0.01 chamfer. We're going to select chamfer. We're going to change our distance to 0 0.01. And then we're going to grab this bottom edge of our hitch peg and then click OK. And that is the completion of part number four, Hitchpeg.